Hello and welcome to the What Lee Makes YouTube channel. Today's date is the 30th of April 2024. Today's video is a podcast, a <laughs> monthly podcast. Um, I can't remember when it was. I think the start of this year I was determined I was going to do this on a monthly basis. And needless to say, it hasn't happened. There isn't actually a whole lot to show you considering it's been probably about four months since I last podcasted but I do hope to come back and make it a regular thing soon. There is a whole load of life update stuff that I will tag on to the end um so if you're interested please stay tuned. So I to start I will start with knitting I think um so I set myself the goal this year of knitting a pair of socks a month. That so far has not happened. This is my January pair. Notice it's one. But this is my January sock. I will knit the matching pair soon. So it is in um, the really pretty blue here. And here is in West Yorkshire Spinners in this. It might be bubblegum, but it might not be. I'm not sure. And then the main body of the sock is in this really beautiful. It is in Trekking XXL in 702. Um, so yeah, I've got one sock done for January. The yarn is in here, ready to go. I just need to actually do it. There is a nine inch circular, but it would have been knit on DPNs. I think I was trying just doing the cuff on nine inch circular. Um, yeah, really like that. It's being held in an Amelia X Joy project bag in blue. And then my February sock. Or sock is this one. I wanted like a ready pinky one for February, being Valentine's Day. The blue was because January is cold. This is knit in uh, Regia Eco Line colour um, in colour 02003 and 03003. Um, So I think the sort of variegated one is 02003 and then the solid colour, which I think would be really nice just as like plain socks, is in 03003. Again, the arms in there ready to go, I just need to cast it off. It's being housed in the Never Media X Joy project bag. The cherry blossoms because they're pink flowers. And then my March sock. Oh, I did get a fair bit of my March ones actually. So I finished one. Um, I do 64 stitches, um, DPNs. I intend to knit. 8, 17, 18, 19 rounds for the rib, for the cuff, and then however long for the leg. And I'm a size 7. Um, and then I've got the second sock. I think I might be doing the heel, just starting the heel in this one. It probably doesn't show how it does, but this is really beautiful. It's sort of 
The yarn is in West Yorkshire Spinners, the florist collection, and then um, Jib Sophia, Sophia for one of them, and then I don't remember the match the coordinating colour. But again, the yarn's in there, ready to go. I will need to get this one done soon. I'm trying not to stress myself out, but it is really stressing me out that I need to knit pairs. I need to knit, knit a match in one that almost all of them. And then my current socks for April is these. And again, I've got really far on this pair. Life update coming up. I have done one sock. It all needs washing and blocking. This one is slightly longer than normal, but I wanted to try and get all the colours that I could. So I started with this colour and then the next, and then I knit all colours up until that was that colour again and I tried to do the same on the foot as well. Uh, it does fit, it fits okay and then I am on the last day of April however and there is still knitting time tonight so who knows whether or not this might, I think saying it's going to get finished might be a little bit ambitious. He knows, he knows, so I'm on the fit at this point. Um, and that's being knit in the stripy one. So here downwards is in King Cole zigzag. Bracken, colour 3238. And then the, oops, the cuff and the toe is being in West Yorkshire Spinner. I think off the top of my head it's cinnamon stick. And it is, yeah, I wrote on very, very roughly with it was cinnamon stick. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying. I've kind of wanted some, I've got quite a few like neutrally sock yarns to try and knit some neutral socks. I'm naturally really drawn to colour, so yeah, I'm glad to get at least a neutral pair done. Um, and then a sneak peek. This will be my May sock, so they're not cast on yet. But I will cast them on. I was thinking maybe casting them on tonight and doing the cuff because that always requires a little bit more forethought. I've been more thinking about. So the main colour is going to be King Cole Zigzag in Strata, which I really like, um, because it's got like the green in, the yellow, pink and lilac, so I feel like it's really nice for spring. Um, and I tend to do like a cuff and toe in a coordinating colour. So I have West Yorkshire Spinner Signature 4 Fly in... Sarah Sprilla colourway. I think that pulls out the pink quite nicely. It's not an it's not an identical match, but it isn't far off at all. Or I could do West Yorkshire Spin the Signature Four Ply in this colourway. <laughs> I never know West Yorkshire Spinners. I never know which one is the colour and which one is the dye lot and what the other number is. So. I'm not too sure yet which one I fancy. I feel like the pink would be pulled out more in this. I feel like there's more pink in this than lilac. But I do think the lilac could be quite pretty for spring. So I'm thinking about it at the moment. I was waiting to get my nails done, but actually like they're a really pale, sort of paley pinky lilac-y colour. So uh, it hasn't really helped. I did think the lilac not sure. So, 
I can't cast these on, so I decide what colour I'm doing. I do, I do feel like the lilac's a bit more spring-like. I do like pink. So, I'm not sure. Stay tuned. If you come back at the end of next month, hopefully you'll have done May's podcast, and then you'll know which colourway I chose. So it has been a very long time since I filmed and I don't remember, I know that I did kind of a works in progress thing for like knitting, spinning, weaving, everything. Um, but I can't remember whether or not in the four months, whether I've, in fact it's longer than that because... I remember filming that in the Halloween dress, all those like whip catch up things. So I I might have worked on other projects that were already on the go, kind of just in a couple of rounds, but I don't know, and I'm not gonna show everything just in case. Um that's my knitting. I will do this my weaving. So I am I am part of a local Weavers, Spinners, Dyers Guild um, and recently we had a Weaving with Waste workshop. Um, so I created, I wanted something quite neutral to go with my lounge. So my lounge, as you can see, is kind of wooden, magnolia, cream, white, there's obviously brown with the wood um grey sofa grey chairs so I wanted something that kind of utilised a lot of sort of creams beiges white grey I know there's there's probably more black in there than I'd have liked but never mind so I'm this is a work in progress it isn't finished I'd like to go right up until kind of maybe here make it a proper piece to go in the lounge um so this is so the yarn is from a charity shop the lady said she bought all the equipment all the things that you could just pick and choose this is like an off cut of oh this looks like a salvage edge of some sort of fabric this is a neck curtain this is some plastic but i don't know what it's from this is some sort of like it feels very plasticky some sort of material so i like this sparkle I hope it picks it up this is um Christmas tree decoration bead things this is from oh this piece is really funny this and I've got a bit more because it's silver on the other side so it's going to use the other side that is from a um when people grow certain types of plants they have like these sort of reflective things that help with like the heat and the light and stuff to help the plants grow because obviously they're growing normally in an attic <laughs> or oh, their bedroom if you catch my drift <laughs> without wanting to get myself like in trouble with YouTube. Um, so this is actually that one of those reflective things, which I love having that in there. Um I'm not too sure what this piece is from. That's part of a palm prop. Um, this is a reflective strip from a piece of, I think it was from a piece of clothing. And I love that when this when the light hits it. I don't know how well, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it does really stand out. Um, that I don't know. That's some, just some rape. Mm. let's try that way some rape that's a ribbon that was some yarn that was just a piece of material so it's got a really nice like the other side's very like soft and warm and that's some lace so I've got some more bits and pieces in my bag um, to incorporate in she just said, like, if we hadn't finished, we could take things if there was stuff we really wanted. And then just after that, a friend picked me up from the guild and they bought me a bunch of flowers. Um, and I thought I could use the wrapping, or part of the wrapping, for that, which would be nice. 
Um, and then I also picked the like this was from a, a new laptop that again is white and I kept the plastic to just in case I could use it somewhere. Um I don't make it a habit to collect rubbish, <laughs> but because I knew I got this and I just happened to get a bunch of flowers and the colour would work in what I wanted and I just happened to get a laptop and it could work. And then I've got a whole load of bits and pieces in there from her. Okay. So the... Obviously, I paid through the workshop and then you could buy the frame, which I did too. Um... And then, sorry, I've, just, I've been chucking things in a bag just so that they got kept together. So I need a need to cast it. Um, and then I did, a couple of weeks ago, I did a leather key ring workshop thing. I have never in my life <laughs> done any leather work at all. So I had an absolute blast. Um, so... We did this is kind of practicing. I wasn't I have to say I wasn't very good. It was a real team effort with me and one of the guys running it. But I had so much fun. I love this floral stamp. And then I made a rattlesnake. I'm quite happy with that. It's not perfect, but it, it's it's good for me. Um and then that was meant to be a bird. I don't know. I feel like it shows up better on camera. Um, but yeah, I had been doing that. And then, again, there was some more kind of practice in stamping. And then I did a couple of practice ones. So we drew around the key ring shape. And I could kind of have a go at what I... Well, I thought I was interested in. And then the other person, one of the people doing the workshop, the person next to me did one of these like really beautiful kind of border things that I couldn't get the hang of with initials, sorry, the keys. And I really liked it, but so there wasn't, I didn't feel confident in my ability to do it in a straight line around the outside. So they, and I said, I want the flowers. And one of the guys suggested using the flower stamp. So I had a go with that. Um, yeah, so that's the practice ones. And then I made two. So the first one looks like this. And it's really pretty because one they remind me of orchids. And one of my really good friends got me an orchid. I can't remember whether it was when I moved, whether it was my birthday. But it's really special to have like an orchid key ring. Because if it was for when I meet, it was a housewarming present. I meet like late February and it's my birthday, early May. And then the other one was this. It isn't quite perfect, but I'm happy with it. I I didn't tarnish them or anything. I just kept them as like the plain colour. And I've just done the water resistant thing on it I think um yeah so they can go on my keys now and then my WY had some a sort of a speed crack event so there was some stamping which I'm not super happy with the problem with speed crack and things I need to do everything so you end up only having a couple of like you know like twenty minutes, half an hour at each thing. Um, so I did the stamping and I did some sewing. Obviously, I do sew myself anyway, but it's really sweet because when I had a clear out of fabric when I moved, this is one of the fabrics that I got rid of and I gave it. There was a couple of people from WI that wanted a lot of my yarn, a lot of my fabric that I was getting rid of. So it's really sweet that actually she bought the fabric up to do. So it's a little purse. It does work. I've tried it with a card in, like a driving license. Oh no. It's just broken on me. That's sad. I'll figure out something. 
I've got the pinch link. I could maybe look at doing it again, but it does fit a card. Um, yeah, obviously won't be using it at the moment. <laughs> and then I did have a little go at Felton. But again, I sort of did a bit, but there were so many other things I wanted to do and I've got the stuff to felt at home. So I kept a couple of bits of felt and I was going to do them at some point on my own. And then I also had a go at something some macrame. Made a key ring. I really struggled with like the finishing. Yeah, so that might need looking at again. But I did make a, a key ring. I really enjoyed that actually. It's the first thing I did when I went. And then I also, to symbolise, I had a little go at crochet. I haven't I haven't crocheted for a very, very long time. I remember I could chain, but I really struggled anything beyond that. Uh, and as you can see the tension is not even. But I would like to pick up crochet. I'd like to learn to crochet again at some point. Um, so that's all of those. And then I just had a couple of, well, I say a couple, but quite a few dresses actually. So they are all, I can never remember. It'll be in the description down below. Butterick B60 something. <laughs> So during the um video about um things that I've got in progress, like my work's in progress, I showed off a whole load of dresses and I have been working my way through them. So I have finished off this one. This fabric is from a craft shop in Yorkshire when I went not last August, the August before. I finished it with like really nice bias binding um, with like teacups and stuff on. That's what we're sewing in tea. And then this fabric is from my sewing box. Um with bias binding it's kind of corally sea themed. Got beautiful birds on it. Puffins, I think. I wore that while I was on holiday. This fabric I got, I can't remember what the stall is, and I'm so sad because I really want to get more of it. But it's got a really naughty print on it. <laughs> you just love it. Um, so I made that one for a trip to Devon that I went on in March, and then I did this for a trip to Amsterdam that I went also in March. And it's got some pink floral bias binding. This one, I think, was finished for Devon. Um, my sewing box is the fabric and the corally bias binding again. This is Van Gogh and Go Starry Night print. It is a bias binding, it's 100% cotton, but it's like a metallic y goldy colour. I've got it in silver and white too. Um, I really like that. <laughs> The fabric was from the NEC Creative Craft Show back in the autumn, and I can't remember what stall it was from. But I know they had loads of lovely fabric, and I was trying to find them the other day. But, not sure. This I finished for Devon. Oh, sorry, that one was finished from Amsterdam. Well, that was cut and sewn, actually. That wasn't even in progress before. That was cut and sewn for Amsterdam, as was this one. This one I think was finished for Devon. It's a good lint roller. Um, I think the fabric's from my sewing box and it's a seashell print, seahorse and seashells and stuff. But I find um, this one. Has got a different print on the bottom. The fabric was from Hobbycraft, so it didn't have quite enough of the blue. Um, so I also picked up, well I picked up the red to do a dress and then thought I could use the red as a band on the bottom too to give it the extra length. Um, another like seaside print thing, bias binding. 
really like that. That was, I think that was just finished to get it finished. I don't think it was for any specific occasion. Um, I've got the floral one. I can't remember where this fabric's from. I think it might be the rag market in Birmingham a long time ago. Um, but an orange floral by his binding. Harvey Craft fabric. Um, the corally by his binding. And then I can't remember if they didn't have enough or whether I just wanted to add an extra band on the bottom. I can't remember. But I added just plain red fabric. The band on the bottom to pull out the red in the main print. Um, that wasn't for any specific occasion, just wanted to try and get some done. Abbey Craft fabric, like the life rings, um, again, Coralie bias binding, not for any specific occasion. More Abbey Craft fabric. I think I'd started a whole load of dresses for Cornwall when I went last summer and then didn't have time to finish them in the mall, so... I've just been trying to get my work my way through them. So it's a plain blue cotton with this because I didn't think this colour would look great. I mean, I don't love the print enough to try and make it work. But I wanted the print in something. But it annoys me because this is a lot thicker than this. But Hobbycraft don't sell that many plain cottons. So when I was looking, I just wanted to get all the fabric to make a dress. But don't tend to buy plain cotton from Hobbycraft now. I'd rather just get the print and then I can look for something elsewhere if I need to. Um, again, it's got the seahorsey. Right, it's fine down. These have all been washed and dried. This isn't, again, this is when I started for Cornwall, but I didn't finish it for anything specific. The seahorse by a spine down is a beach print. Love that. That is from my sewing box. This fabric is from, or was from, Create and the Handcrafters Hub in the Neaton. So Paddy, St. Patrick's Day prints, play the print. Um, and I've seen it for St. Patrick's Day. Really like it. I got quite a few compliments on it. And then it's got a bias binding with green flowers on it. Um, so that one has been washed, well, that has been worn as well. None of the others. Oh, the, the sewing print, the first one, that was worn for a sewing event, the sewing talk thing. Um, this one is obviously a Halloween one with an orange floral bias binding. Um, the fabric is from a store online a long time ago, and I hadn't realised when I was cutting it out, I'd totally forgotten that I didn't, they didn't have enough fabric because I was short. So I did the front, I cut out the front piece. Luckily it was the front piece first. And then I did the back piece and realized that it was nowhere near long enough. I've run out of fabric. So I had to put the black band on the bottom of the back because it was already cut out at this point. I was gutted because if I'd have realised I'd have just cut the front and back as the same length and then just had a band all the way around the bottom. But then I've added a little bit of black on the bottom to kind of try and tie it in a little bit more. I don't love it. And I, I did think about cutting some of the front and then just doing a bigger a band all the way around. But it's a dress, it's a Halloween dress. It'll be worn like once a year. I didn't think I was that bothered about it, but I do love the print. I think in hindsight, actually, I think I'd have rather have done a black dress with just one metre of this fabric and then have that as a band on the bottom. But it is what it is. The problem is I bought the fabric so long ago and I'd just totally forgotten in the meantime. And then... This was one that was cut out. It wasn't sewn. I've sewn shoulder and side seams yesterday, but I haven't done it. At the moment, it's been hanging to let hem drop and stuff. I just need to finish it off. But that fabric is really nice. It's grey background. It's like a bluey grey background. 
the black floral print that is from Fancy Silk Fabrics in Birmingham. So that's the work in progress. Um, but I've got a whole load of dresses. I have actually finished a few more dresses, but unfortunately they are in the laundry, so I'm not taking them out to, to show them. So I'll be showing next time, hopefully. Um, I think that's everything. I'm going to cast on my May socks and try and finish some of the socks and do some more sewing. Um, I know it's been really quick, but that's the end of like the crafty chat, if that's what you're here for. In terms of life update, I things have changed in the, in the, in the past however many months since I last spoke to you. So I, I remember filming in the Halloween dress for the whip round up thing. Um, I've changed job role again. So I was support work. I went up to team leader and I've dropped that down to do support work um, for a, a whole host of reasons that I won't go on go into here. Um, but I've dropped that to do support work. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying it, I suppose. Job's a job. Um, I'm still working within the same company. I'm just, my roles have changed. My responsibilities have changed. Um, I am now single too. I broke up with my partner over a year and a half in March. That'd be right, the end of March. Um, it, it was my, it was, it is, it's been positive is kind of all I'm going to say about it, but it does mean I've got so much more time. I hadn't done very much. I'd done the knitting each month. And interestingly, as you may have noticed, January and February socks, I only finished one. And even then, I know for a fact, I finished both both of those one sock for each month in March. But either way, um, the March socks, I got a lot more done. I also finished the other two. And then April socks, I've done a lot, even more on interesting isn't it um and I hadn't done much sewing at all I obviously sewed for Amsterdam and I sewed for Devon while I was still with the ex um but we broke up not long after so all the other dresses that I've finished no the St Patrick's one I did while I was with him the ones for Devon the ones for Amsterdam were done while I was still in a relationship but everything else has been done afterwards. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll have more crafting time. I'll have more time for podcasting um, because my commitments have changed, I suppose, responsibilities. So it's, uh, it's a good change. Um, yeah, things have been okay. Other than that, I haven't got much else to report on. So thank you so much for watching. It has been amazing to have you here. I really miss podcasting. Have a lovely day. Bye.